using Jasper AI to maximize your efforts as a blogger. With a mustache coming up now. Welcome back, folks. Dustin House here again. Spread that good word about affiliate marketing. This first time here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Get some more tips on affiliate marketing and affiliate management. Today, we're talking a little bit of both. We're going to be talking about a tool that I use as an affiliate manager and as a blogger. It's called Jasper, and it's artificial intelligence that helps you build out more content at scale. So today I'm going to be going through a screen share demo of how I use it to add more content to my blog and how you can use it too as an affiliate manager or as an actual affiliate. Here we go. All right, we're in our Jasper dashboard. If you want to know how to get Jasper and try this out yourself, they have a free five-day trial. Go to the link below and start it up and you can follow along with me if you'd like. But we're going to be going through three big things that I use in this dashboard today. The documents, this is for boss mode. Also use it in the regular mode, blog, post, outline, and paragraph generator. I'm going to show you how I utilize all three of these tools. But before we get started in Jasper, we've got to talk about our keywords. So today I'm talking about, I did my keyword research using SEMrush and figured out start an affiliate program is the one that we're going to be utilizing today. The volume is low, the keyword difficulty is relatively difficult, but my domain authority is doing pretty well. And this is a super relevant topic to the clientele that I'm trying to capture and the leads I'm trying to get. The next step I do is I go do a manual search up on Google and see what other keywords related to this topic are happening. Some of those action keywords in the titles that we should be looking for. So you'll see how to create an affiliate program, a successful affiliate program. Successful is one of those keywords that we want to be adding in. Those action words, how to start an affiliate program, so that's a little bit different. I'm, I'm working with start an affiliate program and somehow how to create a successful affiliate program snuck into the top here. Uh, how to start an affiliate program, seven steps to success. Again, success is there. Uh, start an affiliate program step-by-step -step guide. I like that added in there. Set up with WordPress, not super relevant to me. Start an affiliate program actually successful. Success is definitely the, the action keyword that we're looking at. Small business, that's good. A little bit more niche, affiliate really marketing, how to get started. Create a program in five steps. So I like the steps and I like success. So we're gonna have to do some kind of mixture in there uh, to attack this keyword. So with that in mind, uh, first step we wanna go to is the blog post outline. And the blog post title topic uh, will be keyword. So start an affiliate program. And we're looking for outlines and how to create. They're creating questions that we should be answering within our blog post outline. And we get to choose which one we think is going to be the best. I like the question set here the best. So I'm going to copy that. And then the next part I go to is back to the dashboard and check out the templates again. And we're going to go in to create a new document. Now you can you can write the blog post workflow here. Uh, that'll help. You can also start from scratch. We have a blog post outline that we'll use, but I want to try out this blog post outline that we've got going on here. So so I'm going to say something like step by step process of starting an affiliate program. And then the keyword. Generate some more ideas, see what it come up with. Ultimate guide. I think this is about the closest we're going to get. So I'll copy and paste that in. And the intro paragraph, they can generate an idea for me. I'm not necessarily going to use 11 successful steps. I don't think I need 11. Uh, more likely around the 7 range. Then it'll create an, an initial paragraph. I'm going to adjust this, obviously, but I'm going to utilize it right now. I like the feel of this one the most, so we'll pop that in. It's going to generate. Copy it up, put it in. All right. All right, so I'm going to go with seven successful steps to start an affiliate program ultimate guide. I like the looks of it, step by step content. And we get to choose our tone of voice here. I like being myself and myself is goofy. Start an affiliate program is good. And now we're ready to start writing with this. So we've got the intro paragraph. Now we're going to move into that section where we take the outline that we liked the most. We'll copy that and we'll put it in here. But instead of this one, I like the feel of 
my first H2, which is the most important, is it'll include the keyword and ask a question. How And then we'll simply push this compose button and see what happens. I'm gonna make some modifications to this paragraph a little bit later and put my own personal touch into it. But for the purposes of what we're doing here today, I'm gonna to use Jasper to show us the way of first step to choosing the right platform. And there are seven, I'm gonna say there are seven basic steps. Sometimes you gotta give Jasper a little help to get started in this case. Uh, starting the paragraph for them and see what they come up with and now they're generating that content based on what they have found out in the wild you will have to make some modifications using grammarly or modify the way you want to so step one choose the right product or service we'll make this an h3 and the first step well nothing's really coming to mind it's a little bland i don't like the feel of it choose the right product or service we're going to go with choose the right platform or or product I'm gonna erase these two because they aren't very relevant to what we're trying to do and we're gonna try one more time here I like that stuff I want to elaborate a little bit further we can do the output to length to create some additional content here. Okay. So let's go in deep into these steps and it it keeps reiterating that. And when I get into this kind of flow with Jasper, I like to stop and jump into the paragraph coordinator. So um, we're gonna be developing choose the right platform for your product and see what comes up in the paragraph generator and see if it can't give me some some better looks at what we're trying to do. They give you three examples. You take the best one that's going to be a fit for you. I'm trying to keep this a little bit broad, so I want to keep names like Amazon and Rakuten and ClickBank out of it. So I'm going to go with this equation here, copy it. Now this is original content, which is great. We're going to get back into that. I'm going to keep my paragraphs two, three sentences max here. So I'll just do a little bit of adjustments here. I think that's sufficient for what we're doing here today. Moving on to step two. I like what they're coming up with here. Let's see what happens. I'll start the paragraph like that. All right. Now let's see what it comes up with here. Push that compose button one more time. I like that paragraph. If at any time they create a paragraph that you don't like, for example, we'll just push compose here. If you don't like the looks of it, just push this poor thing and it'll refund the credits back to your account or if you just want to redo it they can do that as well so if you push compose it's going to rethink what it did the first time around and erase the last output and let it do it again still don't like it turn it away and get those credits back to your account i don't do this enough i oftentimes forget about that feature and i burn those words and you don't need to do that i mean i have fifty thousand to work with but uh every bit kind of counts so don't make that kind of mistake as well. All right, it took the time to update this post, get it the way I want it. And now we're gonna go check out Surfer SEO and enhance the value of this content piece. We're trying to keep it under a thousand words and that's just by the guest post request. And I did a evaluation on Surfer and it's gonna load up and tell me exactly the keywords that we're looking for that we're gonna need. It's updating as we speak. So it already told me that I've got five in there which is good news. Uh, we need to use oh, affiliate program use 30 to 56 times. That's aggressive. Currently using 12 and I feel like I'm already pushing the limits on that one. Affiliate marketing program. I can absolutely get into that a little bit. Um, I can programs. We can sneak it in there. I know it's not exactly program, but it will figure it out. Start with the
I'll go affiliate program and see where I can sneak in a few. And we don't want to be too aggressive on all of this. These are suggestions from Surfer of what to do and programs to, or keywords to be adding into this to make it a better article and for it to rank, but we don't want to overdo it. I would much rather get a, a lot of these smaller keywords injected into this article rather than trying to jam 30 to 56 affiliate programs into it and make it read terribly. All right, I put some final finishing touches on this and you'll notice that the words here, they're looking for 4,000 and I'm looking to put a 1,000. So that makes more sense of why they're asking for 30 to 56 of these and jamming that into a 1,000 word article isn't gonna make sense. But I was able to raise this content score up quite a bit. I'm not looking to write a 4,000 word article, uh, especially since I'm doing a guest post for this example. So I think we're good to go on where we wanna be for this. I think it's polished up and ready to rock. And now we've, uh, we've finished what we're doing here and we just finish up by hitting the done button and we're good to go. Click on the link below and check out the page for yourself, all the cool features that it has. One thing I would definitely suggest is going down here to the bottom, enter your email, get 10,000 words in a five day free trial. Pricing plans start at just $29 a month. And they also offer some really cool free features, including how to write some content, and improve your SEO game. And even if you're considering starting your own agency or writing at scale, they even have a course on that. So really cool features that you might want to check out. And there you have it, folks. If you want to try Jasper for yourself, please click on the link down below in the description to help me out and this channel so I can keep on making this new content. That's it for me. Good luck, and we'll see you out there. Cheers.